What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Curtis Seven here to review the game Burnley versus Man United at Turf Moor. Finished nil nil. But in saying that, you probably expected me to come on ranting yada yada yada. Nah, man, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased after the hammering against MK Dons 4 0. I'm quite pleased to grab a point in this struggle because the struggle is real now for United. But now, nah, seriously, getting serious here, lads. Um, mate, there, there were a few glimpses of hope, but let's be honest, you know, we're Manchester United. We shouldn't be happy with a point at Turf Moor against Burnley. But, and saying that, uh, Mate, Angel Di Maria made his debut. It was fantastic to see. Fantastic. Mate, what a debut. Unfortunately, we all know Di Maria hasn't been fit enough. I think this is his first game all pre-season. And uh, it really showed that, he, obviously, he couldn't run out the uh, 90 minutes. He was really cramping up after the hour mark. And, uh, mate, he looked fantastic. By far, I'm calling it now, by far the best player we have at United. Every little touch he had, mate, every time he got the ball, first thing he would do, turn around and, mate, and put some pressure on and bang a pass forward. Take someone on, create chances. That's what he did. And that's what all the other 10 players lacked, creating chances. Anyways, lads, uh, Louis Van Gaal stuck with this 3-5-2 three, uh, three, formation. Yes, it did seemed to be okay, but lads, 20 minutes to go, I was screaming my head off, alright, 20 minutes to go, we're dominating this game, there was no need to have three centre backs on Danny Ings, to strike. like, the, Burnley had one man up front, there was no need to have three men marking him, mate, put two at the back, push your, wing, uh, your left and right back forward, mate, and go for it, but it didn't happen, Louis Van Gaal says stick with this formation, you know, give him time. So we're going to give him time, lads, you know. But I do think he should have switched it up to a 4-3-3 yesterday. But in saying that, lads, Johnny Evans at the back. <sighs> Johnny Evans, lads. <laughs> Johnny Evans, mate, you've been a fantastic servant for United. But there's the door, mate. It's time to go. <laughs> Your time is up, lad. Oh, mate. Did you see the back pass? It wasn't even a back pass. It was an attempted back pass to the Haya. Oh, God. <laughs> the struggle is real. The struggle is real. But anyway, Tyler Blackett, probably the worst game I've seen him play ever. He hasn't been too many games, but, mate, the worst one I've seen by far. Our defense is in shambles, but in saying that, shining light, uh, Phil Jones showed some leadership. Just look, He just looked like an experienced defender. We just need three Phil Jones, and I reckon we'll be all right. But in saying that, there's a few days left in the uh, transfer window. We need an experienced center back. I don't think we're going to get someone fantastic like Hummels. Maybe we should get someone like Ron Vlaar or someone just experienced at the back to uh, come replace uh, Smalling or... You know, Evan, something like that. But anyways, in the middle of the park, we had Mata. Again, mate, for someone who's got such skills of creating chances, he just didn't look on his game whatsoever. Darren Fletcher, mate, he's... Darren Fletcher was just poor again, unfortunately. Mate, we got we signed Daily Blind. Maybe Daily Blind could come into the middle. We do have Michael Carrick to come back, so I'm not too worried about that. But uh, Di Maria, shining light. Shining light Di Maria in the midfield. Because I tell you, right, there wasn't many other shining lights. Ashley Young, left wing back. Yes, he has surprised me how good of a left wing back he is. But he ain't a left wing back. He can't defend that well. And it restricts him going forward. Yeah, he does get forward. But, mate, he just... Mate... He just can't cross the ball to save his life. He must have taken about three or four corners yesterday. And they were all shite. All of them. And saying that, he did have a penalty shout. Could have easily been given for a penalty, but he's the boy that cries wolf. No, no referee in the Premier League is going to point to the spot when Ashley Young gets taken down. Whether it's legit or whether he's diving, no one's going to point for it. So he should suffer in his own jocks. Antonio Valencia, mate, defensively sound. Mate, going forward, he is just so predictable. You just know what he's going to do. He's going to fake. He's going to fake. Then he'll go around the defender. And then he'll try and whip a ball. Mate, he is just... He, he lacks confidence. 
Rooney, another player lacking confidence. Him and Van Persie, they were chalk and cheese today. They weren't linking up together well whatsoever. Our best chance of the game was Di Maria got the ball, mate, millimeter, not centimeter, millimeter pass perfect to Van Persie, chested it down, took one bounce, and it was a fantastic save from the keeper. But other than that, lads, I don't remember any clear cut chances other than that one. We might have had a few. We did have a penalty shout besides that Ashley Young one. Um, I can't remember who shot, but it clearly the defender for Burnley just, just I don't know, he just crunched up and hit him. It clearly handball. But in saying that, referee didn't give it. We had to play on. Yanazai came on for Di Maria. Oh, was it Di Maria uh, in the end? Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, Di, I think it was for Van Persie Yanazai came on for. Again, he, he only had 10 minutes. He couldn't really create nothing. Wilbur came on as well. Didn't have much time. He had a chance at the end. But in saying that, Anderson came on. Now, that surprised the hell out of me. Anderson. I never thought we'd see him back at United. But I tell you what, to be fair to him, he was A-OK. It wasn't worse than we've seen anything we've seen so far this season. But... Mate, his future should be over for United, so, uh, mate, nil-nil, disappointing at best, it was real, I can't believe I stay up till, like, midnight to watch these games anymore, <laughs> it's getting that bad, the struggle is real, but there is time in a transfer market for Ed Woodward and Louis Van Gaal to go and grab someone, we really need... A centre midfielder, just someone to grab this game by the scruff of the neck to say, hey, this ain't happening today. Mate, you're too over Vidal. I don't think we're going to get Vidal anymore. That, 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 that ship has sailed. You know, we're looking at players like Nigel de Jong. Uh, Alex Song went to West Ham today. I can't believe that. He would have been fantastic in my opinion. Uh, we need an experienced defender as well. Like I said, don't think we want to get Hummels. Ron Vlaar, I'd love to get him. Just someone, just to steady the ship. And uh, yeah, they're the two positions we need so far. But in saying all this, guys, mate, Luke Shaw still to come back. Rojo still to make his debut. And the Herrera still yet to play 90 minutes. Daily Blind is going to come in this squad as well. And we still yet to see a fully fit Angel Di Maria. So, you know, and, and plus the signings, whoever we signed on transfer deadline day. Mate, this it, it is looking okay, but... You know, we, you know, when you're so far down, there's only one way to go, and that's up. How far up, who knows? But uh, anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button too. I know YouTube changed their layout. It's It used to be on that side, it's now that side, or it was that side now. I don't know. Hit that like button. Do me a huge favor, lads. And uh, yeah, hopefully we sign someone in the transfer deadline day. Take care and peace. Woodward, time's ticking. Get a move on.